All right, we're here for round one. Brand is mono brown. <laughs> I assume that's good enough. Turn one blade, turn two hanger back. Our opponent has the goblin chubby chaser here. Uh, now we're not going to play the blade because we drew a temple. And we are on the back foot already. So, not sure what we need here. Probably not a shivan reef, although that could be good. If we draw like a Whirler Rogue, but maybe that's too slow anyway, so who really cares? Uh, we need a bunch of Ornithopters to get this Tomb online. That's what we really need. And unfortunately, our hangar back is not big enough to kill any of these creatures. Running out there is a 1-1. One, one. Puppy's being ridiculous. Come here. Uh, so we have zero blocks, and probably pretty soon zero life points. Well, that is a thing. Our only has one land. Alright, let's race. We are running with scissors. We even have the Shrapnel Blast. I think we might win this race. We're going to have a 4-5 blocker. That's better than just gaining a life. It's got to be. Oh, this deck is stupid. <laughs> it is just stupid. Yep, game. That's it. Can't do anything. Alright, Rupture's definitely in. Uh, the Harbingers could also potentially come in here. Not sure, though. So many colorless lands. A little bit bigger here. Maybe Whirler Rogue is too slow. Stubs are obviously great. One mana, counter your burn spell. Revoker, I might just want as an early creature. Yeah, the rogues just seem too slow. <clears throat> you make a bunch of blockers. Uh, maybe I can cut a citadel for one of the, the tomb that I'm bringing in also. And we have room for the other Harbinger. And now we get to find out how hateful our opponents have gotten. How many Smash to Smithereens are in their decks. I think that's it. I think it's just light sideboarding. Mono Red versus Thopters, where the matches take 15 minutes combined. Gotta love it. Alright, alright. I can dig this. So, I... Don't, I mean, we could play the Thopters out, right? <clears throat> and play the Blade. Don't really want one to get Searing Blooded. But that's going to happen if I try and block anyway, unless I have Stubborn Denial up and they don't have a third land. So we're going we're gonna to play it cool, I think. Slow and steady. Yeah, I don't want one of these stoppers to die when I have the tomb. Oh, that's a that's a horrible reason. Okay. Okay. Figured it out. Should have just jammed the thopters.
Well, hopefully four spike is good. Well, three mana, that's probably not going to be the case. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah, Stoke. Stoke tapping all of your mana. Do it. Yeah. Oh, come on now. You're smart. How are you so smart? Sure wish I had two extra life points. That'd be nice. All right, we'll take three to counter that, I guess. This is this is a disaster. Bottom. Disaster. <laughs> oh man. Both coming in, huh? Titan strength. The fun of. Nope, just dies. It... All right, I have to fix my tower because it looks like it's gonna fall over. Just give me one second. All wobbly and I don't know why. All right, all right, four mana hanger back. Teach this idol on a lesson. I wish I had four more life. Is four extra life helpful against a red deck? Because I'm not sure. Hope you're being ridiculous. Sit down. Sit down. No nothing, saw. Coward. <laughs> All right, <laughs> now what are we trying to do here exactly? Yeah, puppy, you're being heard. Getting tangled up in my mouse cord. Uh, we certainly can't race. We're not gonna try and attack here. That would be foolish. I think we just sit back, grow this thing, gain a life a turn. Playing the second blade into the Eidolon does not seem very helpful. And we have Stubborn Denial up, so it's all good. Stoke is going on the hanger back. Well, I will add a counter. Magma spray. Ooh, exile it instead. Very, very nice. Um, we'll let that happen and stub the stoke. So don't get to gain a life anymore. But our opponent is hell bent, and we have five five hanger back. Wish I could scry into a Whirler Rogue. Grab the Blast would be great though. Turn on these tombs. Mm, Revoker's another dude. Apparently. I am a Luxac. So another creature, I'm gonna take two to cast it, but it's sort of gonna start like paying me that back immediately. So I think this is a good top. Again, don't think I need to attack here. We just want the tomb to outrace our opponent's live draws. Uh, I definitely did not play this game well, but as far as being a Luxac, I'm not so sure. I don't know.
I mean, my draw was two Ornithopters and two Force Bikes. Like, <laughs> six land. Guess that makes me super lucky. All right, first activation. Gain one life. Clint. Uh, is there a card I can revoke her in their deck? Same Chandra. <laughs> no, Lightning Berserker. Lightning Berserker is a good one, actually. Although I don't know if Lightning Berserker actually matters. This juncture. Uh, so if I attack there and my opponent like Searing Bloods me or whatever, I die. So if I just keep both back, I think we're still good. I probably should have moved the blade, but how can you turn down the value of putting another counter on the hanger back walker, you know? You just can't do it. All right, so we'll cast this Ornithopter. That should pay us immediately. And our opponent is not doing anything, so we're just going to gain the life that we can right now. And these tombs, doing what they're supposed to, locking the game up. Thanks. Thanks for playing. Good games. Tomb is so sick. So sick. Sigrist, you would have won the PT, buddy. You would have done it. But yeah. All right. So far, so good. Change, change number one, Tomb of the Spirit Dragon. Excellent. Thumbs up.